checking to see how soft it is. Last morning in the van. Maybe. Oh, Unless know. we change our mind. Well, not last morning. No, 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 no. Last Just until we get back to the, our Nevada spot. Yesterday marked three months on this van journey so far. Yep. Head to Kenna. Get the shovel out and some, <laughs> to make things level last night. It was, uh, Did some digging. Some digging, some rock piling, <clears throat> leveled things up. This is a cool place. It's, Vegas is about two hours that way. LA is about well, three hours. Distance is the same, but different kind of traffic. So we're kind of in the middle. And we saw this BLM site. There's no one around for miles. But this right here is closed. It's a Calico Early Man archaeological site. And it's just up the road. And I'd love to walk up there, but it says closed. I just don't want to go up there. If I don't know for sure if it's vehicles or foot traffic, but did some research online and it's a pretty controversial archaeological site. Um, back in the 40s, a woman uh, found what she believed was uh, stone tools from early man. Um, not like you know, early Native Americans, no arrowheads, that sort of same thing, but like what they claim 30,000 plus 100,000 years ago. <clears throat> and she showed those to Dr. Lewis Leakey, the kind of famous anthropologist who he uh, co-discovered early man in Africa. So he came here and got involved in this dig in the 60s. And <clears throat> some believe that it's impossible because if, if early man was, just, was making tools here, then that would change the whole belief of when man came to the Americas. So, but just looking around, there's constant. I mean, there's all kinds of flint and rock. Yeah, and obsidian. A yeah. lot of. If, if early man was going to come to a place and make tools, this would be a place. So, the controversy is whether these stone tools that they're claiming are stones or from early man's technology of making tools, or was it just the geology that made it? But apparently, this is all a big lake, thirty thousand years ago, or lake shore. And that the, the dig site itself is they're finding these stone type tools in, um, I guess, the areas around the lake. So interesting to think about. It is pretty cool. Um, but nice quiet spot. I'm telling you, I slept pretty darn good. <clears throat> We're gonna go find some rocks. We're gonna go poke around and see what we can find. I'm gonna go find a, a caveman's. <laughs> hammer or axe yeah. and then I'll be rich and famous yeah and we'd still travel in this van <laughs> exactly <laughs> that wouldn't change anything <laughs> great spot though yeah I-15 is just like a mile this way we can see the traffic from here mm -hmm. but you can't hear it no it's a, a place where ATVs go. Um, yeah. I don't see where, I see where people have set up their RVs, but there's no sign of campfires. It's just ATV use. We ran all over back up in there and yesterday. Pretty cool spot. Good to be back. Heading to Red Rock. First day back. Yeah. He's getting a bike ride in on his beloved road bike. He's missed her. And she's missed me. I know. In eight years, I don't think I've 
one time when I went to Mexico for two weeks or three weeks. It's the only time I've not ridden my road bike at least once or twice a week on a slow week in like eight years. Mm -hmm. And then to leave it home for three months, not happening again. No, not happening. Pistol's excited. She's excited to go hiking. Yeah. Not many better places in Red Rock Canyon to ride a road bike, so I'm gonna do that. <clears throat> Her and the pup are gonna hike around. It's a great day for that. 